in the Hollyhock Lodge with photographic artist David Ellingson. David, uh, looking at your work here on the on the wall hanging, uh, these photographs are pretty much of everyday cultivated plants, but you've done something really interesting with the light and the treatment of them. Uh, where does that inspiration come from? Well, I was really inspired when I started my career um, from several artists, but mostly Richard Avedon and also Sarah Moon. And um, one of the things that appealed to me about their work was that there always seemed to be um, sort of a magical element to their photographs. And uh, another artist I responded to was Man Ray, and he used this pr the process that is applied to these photographs quite a lot. Um, it's called solarization. And uh, during that process, you take the photograph, um, and during the processing of the film in the dark room, you quickly expose it to a, a really bright flash of light, like a split second of light, and then let it finish developing. And what that does is it creates a reversal effect, and you get essentially these little tiny thin black lines around the, uh, the, um, the uh, object in the frame or the portrait or whatever it is. And uh, so that helps to really lift it. Uh, in the, in the, in the um, photograph and really uh, outline it and make it more vivid. And why uh, choosing cultivated plants or pretty much everyday plants for the subject? Yeah, these plants I actually collected uh, around uh, February, January and February, and um, they're wild plants around um, Vancouver where I was living at that time. And I collected them because I really saw in them um, uh, an analogy with the uh, the beauty of age and wisdom, because these plants were at the end of their lifespan. They're all desiccated and dried and about to, you know, fall into into um, uh, well death really. And uh, and yet there is still so much beauty and and uh, intrinsic quality to these uh, these plants that I saw there. David Ellingson, thanks very much. All right.